The skill of relaxation is regarded as the secret to speed and winning. Relaxation is essential to endurance and force production. Nevertheless, for most runners, it remains unclear what relaxation is and how to master it. To clarify this, we're going to draw a parallel between running and striking sports, as professional fighters are among the very few athletes who have mastered the skill of relaxation to perfection. Every fighter knows that keeping muscles tense the entire time when throwing a punch will slow you down and consume a lot of energy for no benefit. A good striker throws a loose whip-like punch, squeezing the forearm and the fist just before the point of impact. However, the fastest and the most powerful punch in the world means nothing if it doesn't land. Only precisely landed punches change the course of the fight. Now, similarly, a sprinter can apply force and thus influence the running speed only when his foot is on the ground. A world-class sprinter spends around 40% of the race on the ground. His muscles are loose and relaxed in the air. They fire the instant before touchdown, so the maximum force production occurs during the first half of the ground contact. In the second phase of the ground contact, tendons release elastic power springing the athlete forward. This significantly reduces the amount of muscle work needed to maintain speed. Elastic recoil from tendons is a critical contributor to top speed. For this reason, trying to push during the second half of the stance phase is called overpushing. Overpushing is the primary factor of deceleration as it weakens elastic recoil and leads to overtensing of the whole body, which makes the next ride slow and flaccid. Spinning a bicycle wheel resembles what an elite sprinter does at maximum speed. The faster the wheel is spinning, the harder and quicker the slap of the hand should be in order to transmit more speed to it. Towards the end, you have to make some light, quick touches, and then that's when you start relaxing. Sometimes it's like you're not touching the ground. To make a prolonged, powerful push, you need to slow the wheel down and re-accelerate it again. Thus, fast and relaxed sprinting is a succession of powerful, precisely timed, impulse-like strides similar to boxing punches, as opposed to a prolonged, powerful effort in weightlifting. 